Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next to. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of GBP USD for Monday. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, this is the four hour chart of DXY US dollar index. And we were hoping for some crazy volatility after the speech of Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell. But yes, market was in uptrend for the last couple of days dxy and we were also hoping for a retracement and if you have watched my euro give us this video yesterday then market just bounced from the perfect level of 103 that we were hoping for but if we look at the news then you can see that powell says the federal reserve has made no decision yet on whether to raise interest rates again and for the last couple of days, DEXY was in strong uptrend, up move because it was hoping for interest rate hikes. So now the news will bring some changes on the chart of DEXY because the fundamental reason because of which DEXY was in uptrend is no longer valid. So as a result of which on Monday or Tuesday or in the coming days, there is a possibility that the correction on DXY will continue or DXY will go into a sideways market because the fundamental reason that was giving a push to DXY is not present right now. So yesterday we saw a perfect working of our level 103, but on Monday, if the downside continues, then the next support on the chart of DXY will be around 102.65. Here the FIBO 23.6% work level nicely. So definitely we can expect the same that FIBO 38.2 will also do the job. After all FIBO 32 is a better level. And moreover, we will also be having 50 moving average around this area. So FIBO 38.2% retracement level and uh, FIBO, uh, sorry, uh, 50 moving average will be a good combination and should be providing some support or relief to DXY if the correction continues. And lastly, we have the strongest support around 102.20 to 102.32. This is the strongest support on the chart of DXY because previous price rejection around this area as well as Fibonacci 50% retracement level. If you combine both the factors here, this is the strongest support on the chart of DXY. So now let's wait and watch how the news impacts the market and, and what DXY does. Okay, Because there's a high chance that there will not be any further push and DXY may go into sideways or the correction may continue. So now let's have a look at the chart of GBP USD. So this is a chart of GBP USD, and usually we get to see similar moves on the chart of GBP USD and Euro USD. But this time, GBP USD, okay, GBP was USD was not in a mood of going down. If you look at the chart of Euro dollar, then you will see a clean downtrend market free fall. But on the chart of GBP USD, you can see that it was not ready to go down. And my dear friends, before I proceed. I would like to mention that only two days left for the English workshop, three days English workshop. If you really like my work, if you really want to learn and take up trading as a serious source of income, you can definitely consider joining the three days workshop. The Hindi workshop is over. The English workshop will start from uh, day after tomorrow. And after the three days workshop, you'll also receive support for one month. These are the benefits that you'll be receiving during the one month. I have also shared my story here so that you can understand that nothing is impossible in the market and my dear friends as I have already said in my earlier videos that this workshop is not for complete beginners it has been designed for those people who have been struggling with the market unable to make money for the last couple of days and weeks and months so please go through the questionnaire so that you can understand whether the workshop will be useful for you or not and this, uh, this is the curriculum and the best price is the fees. The fees is only fifteen dollars per uh, for the three days workshop and one month support. Okay, the dates, timings, everything is mentioned on the website here. Simply share the payment screenshot on the WhatsApp number here, or you can also email here. If you are looking for a longer commitment, if you are looking for some personal sessions, and if you're really want to learn about the market on a deeper level, then you can also consider joining the annual annual membership or the semi-annual as well. Extremely affordable. Okay. <laughs> so now 
let's head towards GBP USD. So right now, as you can see, the GBP USD is trading inside a channel here. This is a downward channel, but the market sentiment is changed. Usually, what is the trading strategy that we follow on a downward channel? Sell at resistance, simple. But here, the market sentiment has changed recently. So as a result, you need to be extra careful. And as we all know that during the first half of Monday, market is not very volatile. Market prefers to stay silent. So it is better okay, to uh, look at the chart during the second half of the after the European session or during the European session. But try to avoid the market during the Asian session if market prefers to stay silent. So on Monday, if market breaks the channel here, on Monday, if market breaks the channel here, you can look for some selling opportunity around 1.25. 361.2530 around this level you can look for some selling opportunity why you can look because if we draw FIBO okay if we draw Fibonacci here and we just consider the market will bounce from here only okay this is the low made by the market in this case you can see that we have FIBO 50% around this area we also have Fibonacci 38.2 also before FIBO 50 but in my experience, I have seen that FIBO 50% works very nicely. Okay. If market reverses for 1.2500, then also you can look for some selling opportunity. But I'll be considering 1.2530 FIBO 50 to be a better level. So if market goes up, observe the market around the area of 1.253040. If market shows reversal signs, if you see that price is struggling around this area, market is showing price rejection from above, you can definitely go for a sell position. And usually in this type of market, when the where the market structure is bearish, it is better to avoid sell position. But as you can see that the news has um, come out and there is no push for US dollar. So there is a possibility that market may no longer, market may no longer form lower lows and lower highs than it has been forming. So there's a good chance that the next support of 1.2345 will also work. So if market shows downside during the first half, observe the market around the support of 1.2345. Usually in this type of market scenario, the support levels do not work. But this time, because of the change in market sentiment, there's a high chance that 1.234550 will be working. And before that, we also have the previous low, the previous low around 1.2400. This also may work right now. Usually when market forms lower low, lower high, the previous low do not work as support but here the market sentiment has changed so yes if market shows a temporary correction on monday observe the market around 1.2400 as well this level has also the potential right now to work as the new support if market comes and bounces like this you can definitely consider a buy position so due to the mark change in market sentiment we have two support right now 1.2400 and 1.2345 or 1.2350 if market takes support and bounces you can go for a buy position otherwise in the future always keep in mind whenever market is falling like this try to avoid static support resistance always look for dynamic resistances okay. and actually the thing is that see we cannot solely be dependent on technicals okay and we cannot see, uh, trade simply on the basis of fundamentals. So you need to learn how to combine technicals and fundamentals. So we are just trying to find our levels simply on the basis of technicals as well as fundamentals. We are just combining them. That's it. And if market starts moving up, then we will be looking for some selling opportunity around 1.2536. If the market shows a complete trend reversal, market gets extremely bullish then please try to avoid any selling opportunity because the market sentiment decides the direction of the market. Okay, so let's wait and watch and let's wait for the market opening. Market opening will be very, very important. I'll be coming down on Monday also to tell you, okay. That's it for my side, my dear friends. Bye-bye, take care. As always, say, do not gamble with your hard-earned money. Capital protection should be your first priority always. Bye-bye, take care.